All right, these are the ingredients you guys are going to need to make low-fat vegan tamales that taste amazing. So, what do we got here? <clears throat> I just baked a bunch of potatoes. <clears throat> the number really doesn't matter. You know, something like this. These are just going to be little strips of potato put in the tamales. I got my poblano peppers that I'm going to roast here in a second. I got my zucchini that came out of our garden this year. This is our first crop of zucchini we just got. Um, if you guys actually want to see our garden, I'll put a link down below. And I'm, I just made a video of uh, a tour of our garden, so you guys can check that out. We've got organic uh, garlic powder. We've got the enchilada sauce. It'd be nice if it was organic. You'll have to look for one next time. That's what we have right now. <coughs> got the organic corn flour. Make tamales, some salt, baking powder, which is optional, chili powder, vegetable broth. We got the corn husks. And what else? Got some sugar, organic sugar. And we're going to use some corn, organic white corn in the tamales. So those are the ingredients. I'm going to start you guys off with the first step. All right, step one, we're going to roast these peppers on the fire here. So you want to turn your burners on the high heat. I turn all of mine on just to make it go a little quicker. Okay. <clears throat> and you just stick them on the fire like that. And let them roast until they're black on the outside. You just keep turning them until they're black all the way around. And that's, that's how you do it. I'll get back to you guys when they're starting to get uh, turned black. Okay, this is what the peppers should look like when you guys turn them. Nice and black on that side, on one side. You just turn all the peppers like that. Just get it right on the fire. And just keep turning them until they're black on or roast it on all sides <coughs> and we'll get back to you for the next step. Okay, our peppers are done. They've been on probably about maybe eight minutes or so. And yeah, it's about good. Next step, we want to put them in a pot and put a lid on the pot so that they can they'll steam in here and this will help to break up the loose or loosen the skin on them so the skin will come right off. So you just let those sit and uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes and uh, the skin should fall right off. We'll get back to you on that step. Alright, the next step would be to cut the zucchini. I've got about 8 cups of zucchini cut up into rounds. I threw in 2 cloves of garlic in here, diced up, and I, I cook it in vegetable broth instead of using oil because you know what I don't want to gain any weight and I also put a little chili powder just whatever you like you guys can kind of make up your own concoction this is what we're putting in or I like to put in the tamales so just sprinkle a little chili powder on there and stir it up and get a little salt Hit a little bit, and we'll let these cook down until they're soft. And I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, the next step is we're going to get these poblano peppers ready, and I like to just this. You can see how the skin just uh, wipes off. So I like to run them under cold water to get the skin off. So makes it a little easier, kind of washes away the skin. So that's how you do it. it falls right off. Okay, I'll get back to you guys because I got it's kind of hard to do with one hand. So I'll show you guys what they look like when I'm done. This is what the peppers should look like uh, when you're done taking the skin off. And then you just want to cut them into thin strips like so. 
you guys can use two hands <laughs> since you're not recording this. So that's what they should look like. Cut them in the thin strips like that, and then set those to the side. And there's the zucchini cooking. It still needs to be cooked a little bit more. It's starting to soften up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little more vegetable broth so they don't burn on the bottom. It's gonna be so good. And uh, yeah, let's start making the corn uh, dough here. Okay, before I forget, you guys want to soak your corn husks in some warm water before you get too far ahead of yourself because you're going to need these to make the tamales. Let's try to do this with one hand. Yep. So yeah, that's so what we got to do. Soak the corn husks in some warm water until they're nice and soft. Alright, the next step is we're going to make the corn masa. And if you buy this Goldmine brand, it has a vegan tamale recipe on the back side, but I do not recommend following this because it says to use, let's see here, for four cups of the corn flour, it says to use one and one third cup of olive oil. No, that's no good. Because, I did the math, that's 35 tablespoons of olive oil, which equals out to 4,375 calories of fat. So I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to get any fatter. I want to lose weight, more weight. I already lost 71 pounds, so let's uh, show you guys how to make the dough. Let's do it. All right, let's start making the dough. There's eight cups of flour in this bag. I'm doubling my batch here. Usually you'd make four, but I'm doing eight. So I'm gonna dump this bag, almost all the bag in there, not the whole bag, because if it's too, if you make it too runny, you wanna have a little extra to dry it out. So fill this up. Pretty good. Now you want to add. Let's see here. Four teaspoons of sea salt and four teaspoons of baking powder to the mix. And then you want to add five tablespoons of sugar. Five. And give that a little stir and mix it in. <clears throat> so it's combined evenly. Alright. <coughs> now, I'm going to add. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add our red enchilada sauce. I use a half a cup of this stuff. Start the machine. For the mix. Okay. Now we start adding our vegetable broth to this. This is what I use to moisten it. We just keep adding it until it's the right consistency. There's no, there's no special number to put an amount to put in here. So you just keep adding it until it's the consistency we want. <coughs> Mm -hmm. A little more. Let's turn this up. Probably going to use this whole container You're close to it. Let's uh, stop this and push it down in there. It's getting there. It's a little 
it's kind of falling apart a little bit, so maybe a little more moisture to it. Let's push that down. Okay. Start it up again. the rest of my flour here to it. it. Takes a little bit of time to make these tamales, that's for sure. I set aside a day to make these, but you'll have enough for a couple days, you know, depending on how many people eat them. But it probably make about this will probably make about 28 tamales. Pretty good. It's about the consistency we want. We kind of you want it to stick together when you push on it. You don't want it to fall apart. I'll add a little bit more moisture. Oh, shit's falling out. All right, that should be good. I think that's good. This is very difficult with one hand, but that's okay. So that's kind of the consistency we want. It's almost like soft play dough. Be a little more moisture. You get a better camera. <laughs> Put a little more moisture into it. And then mix that up again. I'll get back to you guys when it's when it's all done. Okay, this is all finished now, and this is kind of like the consistency of Play-Doh is what you want. You don't want it to stick to your fingers, as you can see, it's not sticking to my hands. So that's the consistency we want for that. And then the next step is I've got the frozen corn. It's a big bowl of corn. Doesn't matter how much corn, whatever you like. This is just a filler. So I just want to melt or thaw out the corn. I'll throw it in with the zucchini. Pretty simple. And then we can start uh, building the tamales next. All right, here's the next step. I got my phone propped up on a cabinet, so you can see. It's like I need two hands for this. I'm gonna put the corn in the husk, spread it around. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be pretty, as long as you can fold them up. So I'll do a couple for you, and I'll just do one, save you some time. Um, you spread the mixture out like so. We'll get the our zucchini corn concoction. You don't need much, just a little bit of that. It goes a long way. <coughs> Some pepper, roasted peppers, a couple of those, and a piece of potato. Like that. I'll do another piece, one more piece of potato. Okay, now you want to roll them until the edges start to stick. Just like so. For, it's going to take a little bit of time to learn how to do this. I'm, I'm not an expert as you can see, but... It'll be delicious. That's all I gotta say. I'm looking forward to eating these already. So that's a tamale. 
that's how you make them. Then you want to fold them up. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I'm impatient. Grab another corn husk. Just kind of, I just kind of wrap mine temporarily like that. That's it. That's how you do it. And then I put them in this steamer. Let me show you the steamer. I jury rigged. It's a little basket in the bottom with some water, a couple inches of water. And I just stack the tamales like that in the pot. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done uh, making all of them. But uh, that's how you do it. I'll uh, get back to you guys when it's all ready to steam. Okay, I got my helper here. She's going to help me turn the stove on. We've got our tamales all wrapped up in the pot. Ready to go. I made about, I think there's 18, 19 tamales. I made them a little thicker this time. A little bigger. So. Tamales. Tamales. Are they delicious? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. We're going to cook these tamales for an hour and a half yeah. to two hours yeah. on maybe medium heat. And uh, that's that. Yeah. We'll get back to you uh, when we're eating dinner. Yeah. Okay. See ya. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Bye. Tamales are done. What do you think of the tamales, Lily? Uh -huh. Hmm? Are they yummy? Uh -huh. Alright, here's the finished product. Got our tamales, rice and beans. These are uh, homemade beans that I made yesterday. If you guys would like to see how to make these, uh, I'll put a uh, link in the description below. Okay, Lily. That's that. Bye. We'll see you later. Delicious, Daddy. Say delicious. Say give me... Oh! If you like this video, say give me a thumbs up. And let us know what you guys think of the tamales if you make them. We'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are on them. I think they're delicious. They are delicious, but they're a lot of work, so set aside a whole day to make them. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later, Lily. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Mm -hmm. So good.